The Hawaii State Senate held a joint information meeting today. One of the topics included a wildfire safety update from Hawaiian Electric Company. Pico says that the number one priority the past 15 months has been reducing the risk of another catastrophic fire. The electric company plans on spending $120 million this year on wildfire mitigation work, which represents a third of HECO's total budget for the year. Plus, HECO plans to spend an additional $300 million over the next three years, offset by $95 million in federal funding grants already received. Sharing its wildfire mitigation plan today, Hawaiian Electric aims to lower risk quickly. You just waited for the Maui wildfires, and now all of a sudden you have a clear plan. I would argue that we weren't, we didn't just wait for the wildfires in Maui. I think this is our largest program ever that we've done at Hawaiian Electric, the resilience program work. Um, you know, roughly five years work of investments year over year. Uh, both capital and O&M work to re improve the resilience of our grid. Yeah. We've made significant progress in reducing the risk of wildfire ignitions from our equipment. We've brought in experts and partnered with other utilities to leverage best practices and take actions that have the biggest impact, but also consider cost effectiveness. HECO's wildfire safety strategy includes foundational work involving new fire safe equipment plus vegetation management, also operational changes enhancing power shutoff, plus situational awareness providing video cameras to detect the ignitions with, along with beefed up weather update cap capabilities. And then grid hardening as well, which includes sturdier power lines.